If you are an Amazon influencer, but you don't know how to use the app, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Let's start with where to actually find the Amazon influencer part of the Amazon app, because this is where you're going to find everything that you need to know from your storefront to where to upload videos to how to check your earnings. To get started, you'll open up the Amazon app. So this is just the regular Amazon app. Open it up and sign in. Make sure you're signed in to the account where you are an influencer. This is extremely important because if you're not signed into the same account, you won't see anything I'll show you in this video. Once you're signed in, go to the bottom menu where it has the little person icon, click on that. That brings you up to your account settings and because you're signed into the same account where you signed up as an influencer, you will then scroll down and you'll be able to see this Amazon influencers section. So it will have Creator Central, your storefront, create content. This is all of the stuff that you need. So if you click on Creator Central, that will bring up everything you need to know about your storefront from your earnings to your top products, content ideas, and all of the information that Amazon has created to help you be a better influencer. You can also click on reporting on this tab and see all of the reporting for your overview for the month, the products that are doing the best for you, the categories that you're succeeding in. This is the most important part of anything you are going to see on Amazon. So make sure that you are able to find this by signing into the right account and then navigating to this section. If you want to create content Content for the Amazon Influencer Program to create review videos and earn money on those videos, this is how you do it. You open up the Amazon app and then you have to make sure you're signing in to the account that is already approved for the Amazon Influencer Program. Once you've done that, you'll be on Amazon and you'll click on the little person icon in the bottom menu and that will bring you up to your account settings. You will scroll down to where it says Amazon Influencers. That will be somewhere in the middle of the page most likely and you'll see the options for Creator Central your storefront or create content. If you click on create content, that button right there, you will then be able to click on any of these options for creating content, video, photo, you can create a collage, idealist, or even go live. So I'm gonna show you the most common option, which is a video. So I'm gonna click on post video and photos, and then I'm going to click on photo library, and that will bring up my photo library where I select the video you want, and then click done when you're happy with it, and it will upload automatically automatically. You then will be able to tag the product so you can go to your orders or browse history and search anywhere on amazon.com. So if you are selecting this option, you would just click on the search amazon.com box there where you want to type in what you are looking for. So I'm going to type in what I was looking for, the JBL Bluetooth speaker, and then I will see that product in the list that is brought up and click add product. Once I'm happy with tagging the correct product, I'm going to click done and then the video will upload as fast as it can and then during that time you can either add a thumbnail if you want Amazon recently started showing all of the videos in a weird little format so adding a thumbnail doesn't really do much for you anymore I used to do custom thumbnails I don't anymore but if you want you can click add thumbnail and then choose a photo by clicking photo library and then picking a photo here what you'll do next is go down to where it says title and click on that box and then give your video a title. So I'm going to give it a title and give it a little bit of a descriptive title of what it is. I'm going to leave that there. And then when you're ready, when you have uploaded the video, it has chosen a thumbnail for you or you've changed the thumbnail yourself. You've added a title. You have linked the product. You then click submit. You can also click save draft and come back to it later or schedule it. But if you've already done everything else, you just might as well go ahead and click the yellow submit button. So I'm going to do that now and it will say post submitted. Thanks. The post does have to be approved by Amazon first before it shows in your storefront. So that can take anywhere from 30 minutes to even a couple days, depending on what goes into it. And if there are any issues with your actual video, if you're giving any advice or prices or something like that, it won't be approved. So just make sure that you are following all the best guidelines for creating photos and videos for the Amazon influencer program. Once you're done with that, you can X out of that and you're back to your account settings. It was super easy. You can also click on your storefront in the Amazon influencers list of items. And then when your storefront comes up, there's that button create content at the top. So you can 
click on that and go through the same exact process. It just gets you there in a different way. So I hope this was helpful on how to actually upload your videos and create content for the Amazon Influencer Program through the app. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your Amazon Influencer Storefront on mobile. This is super simple. All you do is open up the Amazon app and in the Amazon app, you will sign into the account. That's also an influencer account. So make sure that they match. And then you will go down to the bottom where it has the little person icon, click on that. Then you will scroll down about halfway through the account settings page and you will get to the section that says Amazon influencers. Here you will click on your storefront, the button in the middle, and then this will be your storefront. This is the private view. You can also click at the top where it says go public view and see your public storefront. Either way, you're going to see under your name and description, there's a little icon that shows it going out. Click on that. That icon is to share your storefront. So if you tap that and then you click messages, you will be able to share your storefront. And then it says, check out this page and it shows your storefront. So that is what you do on the public view. If you're back to the private view, it's the same process. So you can see your name, your status, and your description and then next to edit profile here it's instead of follow it's edit profile because it's the private view you have the same little icon click on that and you're able to share your profile so if you open up a note it does the link again so either way you're able to share your profile by doing this it's super simple you just navigate to your storefront click the icon and then that generates a link that you can send to anyone via email share in your socials or text an email either way you do it it's the same process and that little button that icon you press gives you a shareable link that you can then send via email, text, you can share on your social medias, you can link on your website, on your stand store, anywhere that you want to share your Amazon influencer storefront. This makes it super simple and I hope this video was helpful. If you want to find your earnings for the Amazon influencer program, I'm going to show you how to do that. To start, you'll open up your Amazon app. So you'll open up the amazon.com app, the regular app. Make sure you sign into the account that is associated with your influencer profile. And then when you're signed into Amazon, you'll go down to the bottom menu in the middle to the little person and click on that to go to your account settings. It'll scroll down halfway through the page. You'll see Amazon influencers somewhere in there. Kind of moves around depending on how Amazon's feeling. But once you locate that, you'll be able to see the button that says Creator Central. Click on Creator Central. That will bring you up to the area where you can see everything to do with your Amazon influencer profile. So at the top, they'll already have the total earnings for the month to date. So you can see everything really quickly right there. Or you can click the See All button and that will take you to more in-depth reporting. You can also get to this the same way by clicking reporting in the bottom of the menu anywhere in this Creator Central area. So here you can see your total earnings, you can see the key metrics for shipped revenue, clicks, shipped products, return products, conversion rate, all of that. And then if you click on products, you can see your top products that are in stock, out of stock, low stock, and gives you more information about like what to promote, which products are doing well. And you can also click on categories and see which categories are earning you the most money. This is really helpful to determine what products to actually review and promote next. So checking your reporting and getting all this information will help you make better data-driven decisions when you're deciding what to actually promote next. So for me, furniture does really well. So I'm going to put more furniture videos up on Amazon as an influencer. I'm going to promote more Amazon affiliate links that link to furniture, things like that. If my category was something else, I would work on that category instead. Okay, and now I want to show you the other way that you can view your reporting and get a little more in depth in that page. If you click on your storefront, you can actually go here and see a button at the top menu toward the right that says see reporting. Click on that reporting. And this is the reporting that is more available on the desktop version versus the app under Creator Central. So this just gives you more information. So you here can have the consolidated summary and you can also see anything you've earned on Amazon under your Amazon Influencer Store ID. So so this is for the previous day. And you can also see the off Amazon and on Amazon different incomes. Sometimes I have off Amazon revenue, but yesterday I didn't. So you can also do a different date range. So you could do this whole month and see what you've earned. Here you can also see your Amazon associates earnings. So you'll be able to see both the influencer and the associates revenue. And you'll have a lot more options when you click on the hamburger menu in the top. You can see your reporting, your storefront tools, and all of this information. And then if you scroll down, you can switch to the influencer store. So you need to make sure you are on the influencer store when you're checking this information. Otherwise, you're seeing your Amazon associates information. But if you go to this reporting, it's a lot more in depth and gives you a lot more information.
option. So it's just an option. You can view either one. So you can see that the earnings are the same here as what I saw in Creator Central. But if I'm also actively acting as an Amazon associate, which is an affiliate, program, I am going to want to see both of these numbers. So that's why you might want to go this route instead. I hope this was helpful and gave you a little bit more information on where to find your earnings and see all of the reporting so that you can make better decisions and make more money.